Hello and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Been really enjoying uh, coming back to this every day. I don't know that I will always do Darkest Dungeon every day, but um, I've been uh, alternating each day between. Uh, uh, alternating each day between Stand the Deep and uh, Withdrew and uh, Dragon Age with Nima, and then. When that's done, each day I've been doing uh, Darkest Dungeon and uh, really enjoying it. Now, as I think I've said before, I very much thought I saved at the end of our last episode after doing several things. It seems like either I didn't or those things didn't take Maybe I did. I'm not sure. So let's, um, that's right. Uh, I'm quite confident I did, but we'll just do them again. And this time I will uh, save on camera. And we have a free upgrade, which I am going to take here in the stagecoach uh, because I want to use the free upgrade for the most expensive thing. I may not actually grab any of these, uh, Heroes, because I think we have all of these. Not necessarily needing. I know last time I grabbed, I think, the leper and the the occultist, but I think I'm going to leave them behind. So, you know, uh, a different reality will make different choices. Uh, I'm going to send Nima. Uh, let's see. Forget the dice. Uh, can you pray then, Nima? Let's see. Time is fleeting. I've had enough suffering. Okay, so Nima wants to go to... <laughs> so out of character, but we'll send her to the brothel. So be it. Um, let's see, Carrix could definitely use some uh, some rest as well, as could Harab and Wanda. Let's see how many people we can find slots for. Wanda will not go here, but she will take penance. Alright, and... Eryx will go in the cluster. All right, that's good. So that was basically 5,000 we just spent. Uh, let's get the fifths uh, rabies taken care of. So that's definitely unpleasant. 5,000 that we just spent to deal with everybody, um, but now they are all being treated and taken care of, and everyone looks pretty solid, other than Harab. Um, did we have a slot for you, Harab? Let's take a look. Rob, do you want to play some dice? There you go. All right, so almost 7,000 gold in stress. And that's that's the big uh, the big growing theme I'm starting to focus on is um, who can we find that can help us with uh, our stress situation? So we already know that Odan, right here, the, uh, the wonderful and deceptive Odan has a stress heal, and it's a party stress heal. And I can just tell by color coding this, uh, I wouldn't call it white, I guess I call it off-white. This off-white box here at the bottom means stress heal. So I'm just gonna go through the characters here. I'm just gonna look and see. So Janakis does not have any kind of stress heal. Neither does Garantika, who I don't believe we've even used. Um, Upala does not. Silne does not. Uh, Nils? does here i don't know if it's a targeted one but stress minus two which is not great but uh you know that's something to keep in mind for the future uh because we can't bring um odin with us on every fight obviously um cell three has nothing that i see uh neither does jang neither does marin we know about Odan. Uh, the speaker stresses people out <laughs> as opposed to de-stressing them. Although I think this one is. This is a stress relief, but it's only for himself. So we'll, we'll explore that. Let's head over to our available missions. And we do have a boss fight uh, available to us here. Kill the Necromancer. And while I would like to do that, we have a couple uh, Gather Three Holy Relics. Um, this is, and we have a veteran mission available, which requires level three characters. We don't, even, I think, have even a team uh, that can do that. 
But I would like to either level up another zero into a one or do a medium mission. We haven't done one. So I think I want to look and see what kind of a team can we put together here. So we're a bit light on the healer front at the moment as both Nima and Harab are in stress uh, healing. So that means I do not want to do anything too adventurous. So a short sounds good. Um, a short in the cove, though that's only a medium. We have no short. So basically it looks like it's either the wield which will get us deeds and a musketeer trinket, or it is uh, the warrens, which will get us uh, statue heads and a bounty hunter trinket. So, you know, six of one, half dozen of the other. Uh, let's see, where's our bounty hunter? Oh, that's um, Carex. so. All right, I think we are going to take Gotta, gotta make a decision here. I definitely want to bring Upala because I, we need some money. Uh, we can bring Tanira because we haven't brought her out yet. Now, there's no healing present yet. Uh, Jang, who is unstressed, can probably pick up some of the damage uh, responsibilities from this group. I would like to have a level one front line for this. And I think it's going to be probably Silne. So this is a weird group. This group does not really have any healing to speak of. Um, you know, all Upala's heal is good for is really ending a death's door situation. However, the only other real healer uh, that we have at all would be Wanda, and she can't do too much. So I think, I don't think Selthry can heal. Can you? No. So I think we're going to go with this group on a short run through the Warrens. And I'm sure that will be a good decision. Two ones and two zeros. All right. Definitely want to do a good job on food here uh, because we may need that. Uh, two shovels. We need to, st oh, we already had a uh, bandage. I didn't see that, so. Man, I don't really want to go under 10,000, and yet we're going to. Because, all right, I think that's probably good. All right, Upala hopefully can really uh, bring, in the, bring in the money here, and uh, Silne is one of our top damage dealers. So hopefully the fact that she can kill people quickly can compensate for our lack of healing. first scout the squalid homes. Okay, fortunately, we have a scout 90% of rooms, so we know what we need to do. It's not about finding as many fights as the map decides to give us. And the map has given us a route if, uh, that we don't have to backtrack. So if we go to the west, then south, run along that hallway for three rooms, then we'll go south, then we'll go east, then we'll go north, and that should complete the mission. Uh, I like that all the hallways are only three spots long. That's good, too. So, some encouraging things so far. Let's uh, see how things go here. Oh, we'll check this bag. Unfortunately, it's empty. Um, and I want to really, really focus on victory. light. Now, I really wish we could have... Uh, all right, first room. All right. Three worms and a drum. And immediately here comes the stress. Okay. Well, we're going to deal with it. So, Jang could hit this guy. In the, all I care about is the guy in the back right now. Jang could hit him. And possibly Silne can finish him off. Or Jang can just get it done by himself. Gosh, he's great. All right. A little munch, a little miss. Excellent. Uh, two... One thing I don't like about these worms is that I, 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 I feel like they have a high rate of giving you diseases. And diseases is more money. So I think we'll just take a nice big chop. An 18. Now that's Silne's third 18 that we've seen. Now, as I keep mentioning, one of those 18s was against a corpse, so I feel like it doesn't count. 
Okay, this is Tanira's debut, and I forgot Tanira does have a heal. But let's see her shot. All right, we'll take a four. Hey, she got a mi uh, she got a hit right away. That's good. Um, I forgot Upala. Yeah, Upala does have a heal. So why don't you just heal yourself? Sedated. <laughs> I love that one. Sedated. All right, hit again, four again. I mean, if you never miss and you always do four, I mean, at least I would be able to count on that. Let's take this guy out. Come on, Jang. Good job. Jang is just automatic. And Selne. Okay, so so far this is going like a two. Don't like the two of our characters are blighted, but... All right, what is this? Uh, critical stone. Raises a crit rate. We've got a ruby. We've got some papers. Citrine. And the uh, the antique, which we only get if we have Apollo with us. Now, I'm so interested in this here, this critical stone. I would like, and can can, uh, can I equip that now? Yeah, why don't you take that, uh, Selene? I'd like to see you crit even more. All right, moving along, moving along. Silne is a very aggressive character, so I feel like it's uh, appropriate to have her in front. One of the hardest characters for me to ever get a handle on a personality was Silne. Not that she didn't have one, I just had a real hard time dialing in uh, in early drafts on what her personality should be. She really just kind of started off very, very early as kind of an Odin sidekick. And I didn't like that approach at all, so I, I walked away from that and started building her own uh, issues. Wow. Man, when Upala opens stuff, there's a lot more there. I think I need to remember that. That was a lot for a bag. Okay, so we've got we've got extra food. Let's uh, get the torch going. And room four. I'm liking how this is going, folks. Pretty happy so far. Sure, eat away. We've got plenty of food. Torch it up. Light, the promise of safety. Yes. All right, in we go. Oh, and a scout. So now we'll know exactly what we're dealing with. All right, heading down. There's a trap. We can get some stress relief for Upala on that if she successfully opens it. Don't mess with this thing. She messed with the thing, and it worked. Okay, continue to mess with things then, Apollo, if that's how it's going to go. All right, I want her to do this trap. Thank you. Apollo's original name was Kurtya. K-Y-R-T-A. And my editor basically all but ordered me to change it, and I'm glad he did. All right, three, three worms. Not as scary as the other worms. These are these are littler worms. Pairs of worms. Um, can you actually do damage to anything? Not really. But you can buff people so that they don't get hurt. Oh, this is a group buff. Oh, that's good. We should do that every fight. Okay. All right. Um, and this is a hit two. There we go. Excellent job. Silne, take that front one out. Nope, you missed. As the fiend falls. Good job, Jang. We're down to one. Blossoms. A little nibble, no disease. Come on. No disease. All right, that's, that's all I cared about. That's okay, Tanira. And there we go. Unity. Well done. Another. Seize this momentum. Another antique. Push on to the task now, what is end. this thing? Heart of Human Remains, it looks like a feeding trough. Disgusting. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I have anything that's going to affect that. Let's just leave it alone. And yes, disgusting. Dark. Grim. 
I have nothing against uh, grimdark as a uh, genre. I know lots of people enjoy it. Uh, it's a perfectly valid genre. Not for me, though, most of the time. I feel like the real world is grim and gritty enough already. I, I, I prefer a little unrealism. Now, Opala being in the front row is basically the worst thing that could happen. So let's move her as far back as we can. Jang, uh, try to take out the, the little pig guy in the back. Almost got him. Hopefully Tanira maybe can finish him off, but I don't like where she is either. Um, we got to get Upala out of there. Yep, this is a problem. Oh gosh, now they're going to start focusing on her, but she dodged, which is great. Um, I need you to move up. These uh, scrambles really can can mess you up. Wow, that was a big hit. All right, Apollo, you need to move again. Now we're somewhat in a good lineup. Don't like Jang being in the front, but we can deal with it. Uh, let's finish the pig. Give them no quarter. Probably a waste of Apollo's uh, or um, a waste of Silne's damage potential there. All right, let's take this guy in the back, Venera. All right, that's not particularly great. Uh, when Silne comes up, I may bandage her. Uh, <laughs> okay, definitely bandaging her, but first we need this heal on Silne. It should take care of the bleed. Nope, it doesn't. I guess uh, I forgot who Paula's heal doesn't do that. Yeah. These guys are hitting hard. We have three bleeds going on right now. Let's, uh... Uh, that's the one I can live with. It's Tanira's. Okay, Silnik, yikes. Let's get that... Get that, uh, bandaged up here. Uh, well, we can leave that there. And give him a chop. That might be enough to kill him. I think it will be. And I would like to... Nah, let's not risk it. As the enemy okay, so the next room is our last fight. Everybody is pretty hurt, though. So I'm going to go over here, and first I'm going to um, bandage Upala, and then everybody's going to chow down. Well, specifically these two characters. I'm going to go over to Silne and eat up Silne. I am worried about Silne in the next fight. Uh, a couple unlucky hits, uh, and we could be in uh, trouble. All right. Let's uh, make sure we're at max light. The way is lit. The path is clear. And if this goes well, then it was a great mission. Okay. I don't want to be overconfident since this is a fight we lost um, Cater to. But there are worse enemies I could have seen than this. All uh, right, uh, I'm gonna leave Jang in the front just because I don't want Selene to take too much damage. Uh, that bleed might be enough to kill it. Damn it, they're going after Selene. Oh, that was an awful crit. All right, she resisted the blight. Let's get a heal on Selene. It's something. Uh, I may have Tanira heal as well. You can bite Jang, that's fine. Okay, well, you know, don't go, don't do it too much. Don't crit for seven. The end approaches. <laughs> okay, well, now that there's one spider left. I just, I just love the narrator. I just, he never stops being funny to me. Okay, that's good. Tanira, excuse me, Silne, we could use a one shot right here. Uh, let's go. That was not what I wanted. I wanted a complete kill. Let's finish him, though. Good job, Jang. Has Jang ever missed? It seems like it hardly ever happens. All right, uh, this is bleed resist, not bleed heal. Let's give everybody this dodge buff. Okay, unfortunately, Ala has picked up enough stress that we're gonna have to stress heal her when we get her back into town. If another antiquarian shows up on the um, 
uh, the stagecoach there. I might, I might grab her. I'd have to think story-wise who else that would be, um, which could be a bit tricky. But okay, there we go. Think, 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 think. We did it, but we're gonna stay here for a minute. We're gonna switch to Apollo. We're gonna open this chest. Unlocked. Open it up. A fortune waiting to be spent. All right, now we will get out of here, and I'm going to call that a reasonably strong success. Let's see how much money we made. 3,000 base plus... About 8,000, so... Carry the 12, divide by... Okay, so about 11,000. That's good. Uh, not much on the heirloom front. Uh, but we did level Upala up to level 1, which is good, because she'll get less stressed out. Uh, Tanira, same with Tanira, and um, we got Jang up to level two, which is great. There will be no sleep tonight. To Boutrous and Decadent in the extreme, several nomadic warriors have wandered into the hamlet in search of glorious death. We can only hope they find it quickly. Uh, we got one cell, Nay. We don't need two. All right, in week 10, Nima engaged in pleasures of the flesh, so out of character, and recovered 73 stress. Harab retired to a private dice game in unknown whereabouts, which means he's not available to us. He gambled and recovered 69 stress. Wanda engaged in flagellation and recovered 65 stress. Uh, Drew prayed and recovered 69 stress and is no longer hopeless. Carrix has achieved enlightenment and got 56 stress back. The fifth cured her rabies. Jang is level two, Tanira is level one, Upala is level one. That's all very good. Um, and we're up to 20k. We're not going to be at 20k once we spend it. But we are at least at that. So that's not a bad thing. Let's, uh, a couple things I want to look at. So our um, trinkets. We have this, which is a bounty hunter. Uh, which I believe is Carex. So Carex, if you got this, what would it do for you? Uh, makes it harder for him to move, but harder for him to move people. I'm okay with that. All right, what else do we got here? Warrior's Bracer, anybody can use it. Uh, the Houndmaster raises his stun skill chance, but lowers his speed. I feel like we never use that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use his stun skill, and I'd much rather have 1,500 gold. Uh, same thing here. Uh, whoops, no, don't, okay, give me that badge. What? Carex. Okay, take this back and then drop that. Okay. Uh, now, finally, sell this. Okay. This goes to the Crusader, makes his melee skills, uh, raises his melee skills, but lowers his healing skills. The Crusader does have a heal. Uh, I like this. Let's give that to Drew. And then this is a disease charm, which raises disease resist, but also lowers their dodge. Let's just get rid of it. All right, made uh, made some money there. Final actions. Uh, I want to go to the guild, and I specifically want to look at healing skills. And can we upgrade? We can. So we can rank some. Oh, geez, just knocked my uh, knocked my water over there. We can rank these up to uh, two, and I'd like to do that. Some may fall. And I have. But their knowledge lives on. And that makes me think about some of the skills that we could upgrade, although I think we will pay for those next time. Uh, I did want to see what healing skills there are, but actually I think that's, that's a good thing to kick off the next episode with. So let's see. We've got a bounty hunter, a crusader. Now the one thing I'm going to take... I'm going to take this gesture because getting a second stress healer up would be good. The challenge is thinking who this would be um, story-wise, but uh, I can work on that. I have a couple ideas, and I think we'll probably close out really reasonably short short episode this time. Um, past couple episodes have uh, stretched into the 30 or 40 minute mark, so it's good to get a get a shorter one in here. Um, I'd like to look at what we can do next and put our people in distress healing situations. So Upala, uh, let's go to the tavern for you. 
And can we have you drink? Yes, that would be great. Okay. Does anybody else desperately need stress healing? Not really. She's the one that I most wanted to get it. Okay, and her rob is gone. So what would our next run be? If we wanted to go after this, this here, this boss fight, the Necromancer Apprentice, it would be a medium mission, and it would take definitely four level twos. Do we have four level twos that we can put into this mission? I don't think so. Let's just pretend we were going. We have Drew. We have Jang. That's a great place to start right there. We have Nima. Do we have a fourth? No. What would our best option be for a third spot? We've got a healer. We've got a tank. We have a major damage dealer. So it really would be... I mean, Silne would be great. She's a bit too stressed out at the moment. Um... I want to feel like Wanda would be pretty strong. And I'll tell you what I like about this group. That's the Under Everest group. That's Drew, Jang, Wanda, and Nima. Against the Necromancer? The boss fight? It feels pretty good. I gotta be honest with you. No idea how this would go, but they're all in pretty good shape. We could spend a lot of money on provisions I kind of like it as an idea. It could be a terrible decision. I'm putting the save on the on the stream so you see that. Um, I'm thinking I might do that one in, in the next mission. I, I feel like that might be pretty fun. So uh, I think that's going to be it for this time. Uh, I appreciate everybody uh, dungeoning along with me. Ha ha. And uh, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I hope you're finding ways to escape and... Uh, Thanks for all the support that I'm getting on the, on uh, the various series. Serieses? Nasty serieses? Um, I appreciate it all. Um, thanks very much. Stay safe. Take care of each other. I will see you next time.